Nerd Morning, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and today on the Nerd Morning Show, I'm talking about the new Brazilian Wonder Woman that was announced with the DC Comics event called Future State. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and let's get going. DC Comics has recently announced a line-wide comic event called Future State, a two-month event that will go through the months of January and February of 2021. In this era and version of the timeline, characters like Bruce Wayne are dead or gone, and others are taking on their heroic mantles. I broke down this announcement in a video already, and I'll be adding a link to it in the description of this video. Of the line of new characters for this is Yara Flor, a Brazilian woman who becomes a new Wonder Woman. There have been hints of her connections to the Amazons, but a lot of the details are yet to be discovered. Superman group editor James S. Rich spoke in an interview about Future State and particularly for this new Wonder Woman. He said, We will eventually discover that there are connections to other tribes of the Amazons that we have established. In Wonder Woman Annual Number 4 that came out in 2020, we have one of those connections. Diana Prince goes to Brazil discovering a lost Amazon outpost and rescues them from the Dark Fates. Is this where Yara Flor comes from? Did Diana save her with the other Amazons in that location? I looked through the issue for any references to Yara Flora and I didn't notice anything overt. But this issue is definitely setting things up for something like the possibility of a new Brazilian Wonder Woman. Editor James S. Rich continued, Yara does have some connections to the Amazons, and part of what we'll discover in her origin is what activates her position, what makes her Wonder Woman at this time. She's from Brazil, but was an immigrant to America. That's also an element of her story. Even though we'll see her currently active as Wonder Woman, eventually we'll learn what her origin is, particularly her figuring out what that means, where she's from, why she is her, how she relates to Diana, how she relates to the other Amazons. For me, the big takeaway is that we won't see the last of Yara Flora's Wonder Woman from the event of Future State. Maybe in the main Wonder Woman series after this event, we will see her emerge and be trained by Diana Prince, leading to the future, which will be told in Future State. But all that's speculation at this point. What do you guys think of Yara Flora as the new Wonder Woman? Let me know in the comments below. I am super excited for Future State and to see these superhero roles be taken up by new characters. I think it'll be a fun exploration of the possibilities with these characters. DC executive editor Marie Javens said this, the DC universe has always been a fertile ground for new and refreshing takes on our characters. And DC Future State definitely contributes to this legacy. And that is so true. With the expanded multiverse and elsewhere stories, DC Comics thrives with different versions of their flagship group of characters being reimagined in different ways. What they're doing with DC Future State is just adding to that legacy. Now, some people may have concerns about their favorite characters not necessarily being the leading role for these heroes. And if the older characters were going away entirely, I would understand. But even in the two-month event itself, Diana Prince will be having her own comic series as Immortal Wonder Woman. Also, we have seen character explorations like this before. Both Dick Grayson and Jim Gordon have taken on the roles as Batman in the main series. And this wasn't just for a few months, they were both in that role as Batman for quite some time. What I'm saying is DC Comics is offering us something new and something exciting with the new Yara Floor Wonder Woman. Let's enjoy it. It is not taking away anything from the legacy of Wonder Woman, only adding to it. This is an exciting time as I'm so ready for Yara Floor as Wonder Woman. Be sure to let me know what your thoughts are in your comments below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you guys next time.